Today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Homebrew on a Nintendo Wii using a letter bomb. And basically what this does is it jailbreaks your Wii to allow you to use it to its full potential. And today I'll be showing you all how to do that. And this video is going to be based off of a written guide which I'll have linked down below and I'll be showing on screen at times. So make sure to go check this out if you'd rather have a written guide over a video, but I decided today just to make a video on it in case you guys prefer that way. And here are a few reasons why you should letter bomb your Wii, or jailbreak it in other words. It allows you to play media files, emulate classic games, and even install software from a community of Wii users. And that's really the coolest thing about this is that it's really just community based and this whole project is really just a community project and there are a ton of different things you can install on here and I'll show you guys the possibilities pretty shortly. Now what is the letter bomb hack? Basically it allows you to homebrew your Wii, or jailbreak it in other words, with just a few simple clicks. And you're only going to need a few things to do this jailbreak here, including an SD card with 4 gigabytes or more, which I've got right here. You're going to need a PC with an SD card reader, and my PC does not have an SD card reader, so I had to pick up one of these SD card to USB adapters, which is probably like 10 bucks on Amazon. But if you've already got an SD card reader, then you're not going to need to go ahead and buy one of those, so you're all set there. And the last thing you're going to need is a wireless network for your Nintendo Wii to connect to. And I'll be showing you how to connect to networks pretty shortly. Now let's begin with the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to format your SD card. And you're going to want to format it as FAT32 or FAT. Now to format your SD card, all you need to do is plug it in your computer. So for me, I have to plug it into my adapter. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug this into a USB slot. And once it's plugged in, just go to your folders and locate the drive on the left sidebar. Once you've located that drive, make sure that you have everything backed up on it because once we format it, it'll erase all the data on it. And once you've gone ahead and backed it up, all you need to do is right click on the drive, go over to format, and make sure you have FAT32 selected. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna title it Wii, just so that it's easy to find, and leave everything else how it is. And then once you have done that, click on start, and here's another warning say that it's going to erase all your data on it. So once everything's backed up, click on OK. And it should say Format Complete, meaning that your drive's been formatted successfully and now it's a FAT32 drive. Now the next step is to check which version of Wii software you have. So to do this, head over to your Nintendo Wii. Go to the main menu. Go down to the small Wii icon down in the bottom left. Go over to Wii Settings, and up in the top right, you'll see your version, which should be 4.3, which is the latest, followed by a letter. And you're going to want to take note of this because you will need it for later. And as I said a minute ago, if your Wii is running an older version, you're going to want to update it to 4.3 for the best results here. And to update your Wii and to install Homebrew and all that, you're going to need an active internet connection. So to connect your Wii to the internet, simply go back, and to connect your Wii to the internet, Simply open up the Wii settings as we had before, and then click on this arrow right here to go over to the right one, then click on internet, go to connection settings, and then click on any of these connections here, doesn't really matter, then select your connection type, search for an access point, and then it'll say that it's found some, so click on OK, then select your network, and type in your password. Click on OK to save the settings. And now we'll go ahead and check the connection. And it should say the connection test was successful and then it's gonna ask to perform a Wii system update. But if you already have version 4.3, it's gonna go through the test and it's gonna say that there's no more software available, which is just fine. Yep, and now it's saying there are no updates available, which means you're up to date, which is good. And now we can return to the Wii menu. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to find our Wii's MAC address. And this is now available because we are connected to the internet. So to do this, just go down to the Wii icon in the bottom left again. Go to Wii settings. Then go over to the right one. Then click on internet. Then click on console information. And right here you'll see our MAC address. And this is what we're going to need to create the letter bomb installer. And once you have this page open here, go back to your PC and click on the second link I have down below, which should be please.hackme.com. And here's where we'll type in our MAC address and we'll select the type of Wii version we have. 
and this is why we took note of it before. Once you've typed all that in, double check and make sure it's all correct, or else there will be errors with your installation. And once you've done that, click on I'm not a robot, and then click on cut the red wire. And now your letterbomb.zip file is ready to be downloaded, so save it to somewhere easy to access. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. And now go ahead and open up that zip file. All you have to do is double click on it, and now you can view the contents in it. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract the contents on your SD card. So simply drag and select all that, and then right click and click on the copy. Now go over to your SD card, right click, and then paste. And now the letter bomb install files are on your SD card. And now we're done on the PC, so we can go ahead and safely eject our SD card. So to do that, just go over to the SD card, right click, and then click on eject. And it'll say safe to remove hardware. Now we can plug our SD card into our Wii. So to do this, simply open up the flap on the front of your Wii, and then insert the SD card facing this way here. And once you've inserted your SD card after like a moment or so, you should see you should now see there's an extra message in your Wii logs here. So click on that. And now you'll see a letter bomb icon like this. Just so click A on that. And now it's gonna go ahead and boot into the jailbreak mode. Once you see a screen here like this, press one. And now go up to install the homebrew channel and press A. And then go up to yes, continue and press A again. And now it's going to install the homebrew channel for you. And it should come back with success. And once it does, press on continue. And we're also going to install Boot Me today, which allows you to do a ton of other tweaks too. So click A on that and then go over to install Boot Me as iOS. Then go up to Yes, continue. Yes, continue again. And it should say success. Once again, click on continue. Now, Click on return to the main menu and your Wii is now jailbroken. Click on exit. And here's where we'll install homebrew apps and channels that allow you to get more and more. So what we'll need to do here is we're going to need to unplug our SD card from our Wii and plug it back into our PC. So turn off your Wii and now you can eject the SD card and plug it back into your PC. And once again open up that SD card's directory. And now go to the third link, which should be Open Shop Channel. And once you're on this page here, go over to Download. And then save that to your Downloads folder. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our SD cards directory. Go over to that, right click, New, Folder. And we're going to rename this folder to just apps in all lowercase. Now go to your Downloads folder and double click on the Homebrew Browser zip file. And now we're going to want to right click and copy just the homebrew browser folder. Go back to our SD card, open up the apps folder we just created, and then paste that file into that folder. And once it's in that folder, we can safely go ahead and eject our SD card again. So right click on the SD card, click on eject, and it'll say safe to remove hardware. So we can pull it out of our PC. Now plug that SD card back in your Wii. And now you should see something called the homebrew channel in your main menu. And this is basically your mod loader. So open that up by clicking on it and clicking start. And now we can see we've installed the homebrew browser. And all you need to do to install apps like this is simply add files to that apps folder we just created. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the homebrew browser now. So we'll click on that. And it'll have a little description to it and then some icon details and then the controls to it which is pretty nice and then click on load to open it up and now you've booted into homebrew browser which is basically just a ton of different apps and games that you can install and this is a much easier way than connecting your SD card to your PC every single time because it literally just allows you to download them right off the internet to your Wii instead of like disconnecting it each time, so it's very convenient. And I'm going to leave all this stuff in here to you, and I'm going to let you explore it, because that's kind of the fun part of this mod here. It just opens up so many more possibilities, and I'll definitely be making some more videos on how to uh, install these types of things. And I plan to make a Mario Kart video in the future of how to install like a very modded version of it that allows you to even go online, which is pretty nice.
But yeah, it's really that simple. You just need to format your SD card, check the Wii software version, find the MAC address once you connect to the network, create your letter bomb file using the MAC address and your Wii version. You need to copy the letter bomb to your SD card, insert the SD card into your Wii, and then open the letter bomb and install the homebrew channel. And that's all. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope it helped you all out. If you had any troubles, feel free to leave a comment, and I will be getting back as soon as I can.